Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Tonight's video, I have a mini perfume haul for you guys. Now, I was recently sent a few fragrances. Pretty much all of these fragrances were sent to me. And I wanted to share them with you and kind of give you guys my thoughts. These brands are, one of them in particular is very new to me. I've never tried anything from the range. And so I'm very excited to tell you guys about this particular brand. I'll let you guys know how I feel. And of course, I have a few little bits and bobs. One or two of them I have mentioned on my perfume channel. But I want to give you guys my full thoughts and reviews on these new additions to my perfume collection. If you guys are interested in seeing my mini perfume haul, then by all means, keep on watching. If you guys are new here, please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for your continuous love and your support so let's just get into it so first up we have all factor studios close up and i want to say this bottle is really really sleek you guys i really do love these bottles now of course it's probably a little bit it's probably a little bit smudged up but okay i do like how crisp and transparent and you know pretty these bottles are so yeah let's just see if the juice inside of these bottles are just as you know impressive as the bottle so let's just get into the notes so close up has in top notes of cherry spices and coffee middle notes are white tobacco patchouli rose and atlas cedar and base notes are tango bean amber and musk now when i received this fragrance i tried it once and i have have not tried it since then so this is like my second impression of this fragrance this perfume opens up with something that smells almost like a raisin it smells like a spicy sweet raisin essence okay i know that sounds a bit strange but i get more raisins i know this fragrance lists cherry in the top notes i get something a little spicy a little bit sweet you definitely get the tobacco in this fragrance it's a it's a tobacco but it's not a very harsh a very prominent tobacco but you definitely get the presence of the tobacco in here so it just has a nice um i want to say it's like a dusting of tobacco in my opinion there's some rose and some patchouli you definitely get the patchouli but this is not a very heavy patchouli fragrance but it's definitely there okay beautiful perfume very interesting smelling because it's not like your traditional cherry scent. It's not a very, very cherry dominant fragrance, even though it has the top notes of cherry. I want to say what comes to mind when I smell this fragrance is one Suma Oriental by Un Nuit Nomad, which is a bit more on the boozier side. And also Back to Black by Killian, okay? So if you think of Killian's Back to Black and the cherry and the tobacco and that honeyed essence, this is the vibe that i get from olfactive studio it's more of a dry powdery sweet you know cherry essence with the spices and the patchouli and the tobacco beautiful perfume definitely has a decent longevity to it it smells very um almost formal it smells like something that you can wear to walk okay it's not too sharp the longevity on this one is quite decent because i have worn this fragrance and this perfume you definitely get at least seven hours wear in this particular scent so this is a very beautiful fragrance and i'm happy to dive into this brand you guys so this is all factive studios closer next up we have still life and this one is in a 15 mil quite a nice bulky hefty bottle very sleek and very clean it has something like a gem to the top but it's more rounded and transparent nice thick bulky bottle and a generous 15 ml bottle of liquid let me just tell you guys the notes in still life so still life has in top notes of yuzu pink pepper lma black pepper sichuan pepper we have some middle notes of galbanum and star anise and base notes are rum virginia cedar and amber again i have smelled these fragrances once so this is my second impression let me just see what i remember from still life okay so still life is a citrusy a little bit zesty a hint of spice a little bit green earthy very refreshing smelling perfume it also smells very aromatic and it's also quite strong okay and as it dries down, you get a little bit more of that like um, citrusy, almost zesty essence and the green note kind of amplifies, but it amplifies in a very, very refreshing way. It's not like a prominent green note that kind of smells vegetable-like. It's not that kind of vibe. It's a beautiful, citrusy, refreshing green fragrance. This perfume, you know, this perfume smells very classy. It smells very expensive. I was it's a very interesting scent in my opinion. Where would I wear this perfume? I think this is an all year wrong type of fragrance, you guys. 
very beautiful perfume yeah. this is a really beautiful smelling fragrance there is a note that's heating up on the skin i want to say probably it's the yuzu in this particular perfume it's a beautiful perfume with a nice um base to it so it doesn't smell like just a you know a fresh or anything like that this is quite a heavy fragrance that can be worn all year round now i have not played around with this one so i can't tell you guys about longevity but i do definitely like this fragrance and i can see myself pulling for this fragrance all year wrong so this is still life by olfactive studio next up we have flashback and this one first of all did i say to you guys this brand is inspired by photos i should say photograph the entire concept behind the scents and you know what the perfumer is trying to evoke is capturing you know certain sights and, and being reminiscent of certain photographs that have taken along their journeys very interesting concept if you ask me but i do like the direction so far let me just give you guys the notes in flashback so flashback has in top notes of rhubarb grapefruit and orange middle notes are granny smith apple pink pepper base notes are vetiver cedar musk and amber i can't remember how this one smells Okay, like I said, I only smell these fragrances once. All right, so this is a very beautiful fragrance. It opens up, of course, with the rhubarb. So you're definitely getting the rhubarb and the grapefruit. And it's um, it's dry, fresh, and airy. Still a bit aromatic. There's something so beautiful in the heart of this perfume. Now, there is also some Granny Smith apple. I want to say I'm getting something really sweet. The fragrance opened up, citrusy, but it gave me something. It was, it, it was going in a aromatic somewhat green direction but then it went into this really sweet essence in the heart and i'm guessing it's the rhubarb in this fragrance mixing with the grapefruit and the granny smith apple beautiful combination a nice soft and sweet scent on the skin not too harsh now what i like about this perfume is that it's um these fragrances have body to them so i'm kind of getting a feel like an all year round type of vibe these are not fragrances even though it's like a fresh fruity perfume it's not just a fragrance to be worn during the summer or the springtime i think that this fragrance can be worn all year round of course it has in the anchoring base notes of vetiver cedar and amber you are getting a bit of the amber it's not heavy on the cedar again it opens up with a slight you know almost earthy vibe to this beautiful fragrance love this perfume i love the heart of this beautiful scent you guys i have not worn this one in particular so i can't really speak on longevity but so far this has a beautiful fragrance that comes out almost like skin but it's not projecting like a skin scent in my opinion so this is a flashback by olfactive studios next up we have auto portrait by olfactive studios and this one i can't really remember how this one smells let's just get into the notes so auto portrait has in top notes of elemi and bergamot middle notes are incense benzoin and moss base notes are virginia cedar vetiver and oak moss and when you initially smell it you get oak moss i get oak moss something slightly earthy a little bit aromatic in my opinion and i want to say you are getting a bit of the elemi in here so okay this is a very interesting fragrance nothing's really jumping out at you is apart from the element and it's a very well rounded and well blended fragrance okay very interesting fragrance this is quite a unique scent in my opinion the closest to the vibe that this fragrance is giving me is the anjadan range from Hermes. i'm getting you know those kind of vibes on this fragrance that's how exotic smelling the this particular scent is and again i'm getting a bit of the oak moss as this fragrance dries down very interesting smelling fragrance in my opinion this one again i would still resolve it to be worn all year round yeah very different fragrance in my opinion so this is auto portrait by olfactive studio next up we have mula mula narcotic from byron performs and oh you guys i am in love with this fragrance okay now I have the Rouge Extreme and I didn't I didn't know what to expect from this one in particular. I mean a lot of people rave about this scent and said it smells like peachy and caramelly and sweet and all that good stuff. And it definitely gives you that kind of you know peachy, extra sweet caramelly vibe. But let's get into the notes. So Mula Mula Nakat from the Nakatik range. It has in top notes of caramel, peach, strawberry, and raspberry. Middle notes are ginger pink pepper labdanum base notes of vanilla musk agarwood and patchouli and when you first spray this fragrance you get a sweet caramelly a little bit sticky strawberry essence 
You don't get a lot of the raspberries because I do find that raspberries are a little bit more rich and sweeter than strawberry, but I do get like a sticky, sweet caramel mix it with some strawberries and i definitely get some lab dinner with some vanilla and oud i would say the oud in here is a little bit more prominent than the rouge extreme but you are getting that lab dinner base mixing with the patchouli and a light dose of sweetness from the vanilla this one is a little bit more spectacular than the rouge extreme you guys so i definitely appreciate that so for me so far I would say this is my favorite from Mula Mula. I have spoke quite a few other fragrances on the brand, and I do like even the ones that aren't that well talked about. But yeah, Mula Mula Nakati, I would say so far, is my favorite from the brand. So this is Mula Mula Nakati by Baron Parfums. Next up, we have Palo Santo by Cana Barcelona, and I have discussed this fragrance on my channel. I'm not quite sure if I discussed Mula Mula, I can't remember, but I definitely mentioned this one in particular uh, in one of my best discoveries of 2023 because this perfume is a beautiful smelling fragrance. Let's just get into the notes. So Palo Santo has on top notes of rum and artemisia. Middle notes are milk guayac woods and tang bean base notes of vanilla sandalwood and vetiver and this perfume is in the same vein or in a similar vein to commodity milk okay so this one is a boozy a little bit sweet light milky guayac wood smelling fragrance with the essence of vanilla and tonka bean this fragrance is not creamy it is not extra milky it's like everything is quite light in this particular perfume in like a light dose so nothing is jumping up more than the other it's a beautiful boozy sweet lightly milky fragrance with the essence of vanilla tanka bean and a woody base to this beautiful fragrance i love the scent of this fragrance this is a beautiful fragrance to wear during this time of year it's strong it's a little bit punchy longevity is quite decent and again it dries down quite powdery with a slight woody base to it keeping that you know that lightly sweetened essence to it beautiful fragrance definitely a highlight for me in the discoveries of 2023 definitely will be playing around with this fragrance a little bit more throughout the winter season it's actually out on my january perfume tray and i haven't worn it just just yet i've only been playing around with this scent so this is palo santo by cana barcelona next up we have bobo by cana barcelona and this is a nice cute little mini bottle i actually got this in a gift set with a total of three fragrances and this is actually 15 ml of fragrance and I, I do like how cute these little mini bottles are this is a perfect way to kind of explore the brand so i'm happy to kind of like explore them in these little miniature sizes to see how i feel about them and to see if i'd be willing to commit to a full 50 ml or 100 ml bottle so i have heard a little bit about bobo and i think it's probably one of the most popular fragrances from cana barcelona but let me just give you guys the notes of bobo so bobo has in top notes of bergamot mandarin orange and black currant middle notes are african orange flower lily of the valley indian jasmine base notes are musk vetiver and white amber okay bobo is a beautiful citrusy a little bit zesty mandarin orange fragrance okay sweet mandarins with a very powdery clean essence to it this smells expensive it smells clean it smells a little bit elegant i just love the feel of this perfume this is a summer sensation you guys this is a fragrance that you pull for during the summertime now it's not a fragrance that kind of jumps out at you but you do get the beautiful bergamot with the mandarin orange and there is some black currants in here so it's like a light fruity juicy type of fragrance in my opinion you know a perfume that's like um more liquidy a more watery than you know punchy sweet that's the vibe that i get from this fragrance almost hydrating it's kind of similar to it's kind of similar to that dolce and gabbana fragrance that features a note of uh, kiwi and strawberries For the love of me i can't remember the name of the fragrance but dolce and gabbana has a beautiful perfume and i'm getting a similar vibe very refreshing light airy clean sophisticated you know um summer fragrance in my opinion i think this is a summer sensation that would be the perfect way to describe this fragrance you guys so bobo is a beautiful fragrance and i look forward to play with this fragrance during the spring and the summer time next up we have a latin lover and uh, I wasn't that much intrigued by Latin Lover, to be honest with you, but when I smelled this fragrance, I was very, very impressed. So Latin Lover has in top notes of Magnolia, Ylang Ylang, and Bergamot. Middle notes are Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sambac, and French Narcissus, and Violet. 
base notes are white musk benzoin and indonesian patchouli leaf this is a beautiful white floral creamy sweet smelling fragrance with the essence of jasmine you get a beautiful jasmine note mixed with that elangelang and the magnolia beautiful white floral fragrance very addictive scent very alluring smelling fresh perfume not very complicated there's also some lily of the valley and some white musk in here so and the white musk in the dry down is what's carrying this beautiful fragrance this is a very refreshing and beautiful you know summer fragrance this is actually a good fragrance to be worn in spring as well because the creamy white florals very refreshing fragrance it's like a it's like walking through a field of beautiful white florals in a sundress on a bright sunny day that's what this fragrance you know that's the kind of vibe that this fragrance kind of creates in my mind beautiful scrumptious smelling fragrance again i, I haven't worn this fragrance to kind of give you guys an idea of the longevity so i'm i don't know you know how this fragrance performs just yet i just know that this is a beautiful perfume that i would definitely enjoy basking in during these spring and summer months so this is a latin lover by cana barcelona up next up we have cures by cana barcelona and i think i have mentioned this fragrance on my channel i did include it in my january perfume tray this is beautiful you guys let's just get into the notes so kios has in top notes of saffron and caraway middle notes are sandalwood guayac wood patchouli virginia cedar and violet and the base notes are agarwood leather french labdanum tonka bean musk amber cypriol oil and amaris and this is a beautiful a little bit spicy leathery fragrance it has a beautiful prominent note of labdanum and i know that's a bit strange but i think labdanum is kind of giving off that really leathery scent okay not the leathery feel there is some sandalwood so this fragrance is a creamy lightly leathery fragrance mixing with some tonka bean amber and some musk very refreshing clean sophisticated fresh smelling leather fragrance now i say leather but it actually smells more like suede it's a beautiful soft lightly leather scent very refreshing very clean almost sexy smelling something about this perfume smells really sexy and even though it's a leather fragrance it is not it doesn't make the fragrance lean masculine usually a leather fragrance tends to come off quite harsh this just smells really ladylike and elegant it doesn't even smell serious it even smells a little bit playful as well because again it smells sexy so not playful it smells and it smells more on the sexier side you guys beautiful perfume and it dries down powdery and clean and there's a light sweetness to it you guys this fragrance smells quite exquisite in my opinion I am in love with this beautiful perfume. As a matter of fact, I'm in love with all these offerings from Cana Barcelona. But yes, this is a leather offering from the brand because I do find that the brand focuses more on like fresh, citrusy, white floral fragrances. But this is a beautiful blend, in my opinion, a beautiful take on a leather fragrance while keeping it very light and airy and refreshing. So this is Cures by Cana Barcelona. All right, and there you have it, you guys. These are the newest fragrances added to my perfume collection. I do hope you guys enjoy this mini haul. I do love diving into different brands and exploring different fragrances. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If in fact you did, please give me a very big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time I upload. And for those of you who are my returning subscribers, thank you guys. For your continuous love and your support and until next time see you guys in my very next video bye